Hi, I'm James from Spy Camera CCTV. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to set up your 720p HD digital wireless CCTV system with LCD screen. It is recommended that you test the monitor and the camera in the same location before you screw any of the cameras up on the wall. This is so that if you have any problems with the kit, you don't have to go up a ladder to go get the camera down off the wall. This is also a good time to give the manual a really good read through and to generally familiarise yourself with the system. Although the system uses digital wireless transmission between the camera and the receiver, both the camera and the monitor still require mains power. Plug in the supplied mains adapters to get the system up and running. By default, the cameras supplied with the kit will automatically be paired with the receiver. This means all you have to do is plug them in and turn them on and they'll work. If you're adding additional cameras to the system, you'll need to pair these with the receiver. You can do this using the pairing menu in the setup section of the screen. You will then also need to hit the pairing button on the camera within 30 seconds. So it's a really good idea to pair the cameras with the receiver in the same location. The monitor should now display an image of the cameras on screen. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's a series of buttons. These are all touch sensitive. The most important button is the menu button. And you can also see there's a little joystick. The joystick allows you to move around the menus. This device supports micro SD cards up to 64 gigabytes in capacity. The card is inserted into the monitor here and provides ample recording storage. To capture as detailed image as possible of subjects, it's often best to get your camera as close to the subject as possible. So only install the camera as high as necessary to be out of reach of vandals. Another tip is to position the camera so that people walk directly towards the camera, not across the camera's field of vision. There may be times when the monitor will struggle to receive a stable picture due to weak signal. The signal indicator on the monitor shows how strong the signal is at the current time, from one to four bars. Obviously, the more bars you have, the better the signal is going to be. The main reasons are due to 2.4 GHz wireless interference. This will be another wireless device interfering with the camera. The first thing that you can try to resolve this is to repair the camera with the screen. This will put it on a different channel and should help with signal strength. The other main reason you may suffer from weak signal is because the camera is out of range of the receiver. Uh, there are a couple of things that you can do to improve this. You can move the receiver closer to the camera, or you can upgrade the aerial on the back of the camera. For recording to work, you need a properly formatted SD card inserted into the screen. To ensure the SD card is formatted properly, head to the settings menu and format memory. To manually record, press the record button on the menu bar, and then press it again to stop recording. To set motion recording, where the cameras automatically trigger when something moves in front of them, push the motion button on the front panel. A red man will appear in the bottom right hand corner of the display to show that motion detection has been turned on. Again, push the button to turn off automatic recording. This system also has scheduled recording, so it can be set up to record on a weekly schedule. Head to the recording menu to set this up. You can also set up this screen to automatically overwrite the oldest, oldest footage. Head to the recording menu and overwrite. Select yes and the system will automatically overwrite the oldest footage. This system also features a talkback function. This allows you to communicate using a speaker built into the camera. To use this feature, press and hold the talkback button on the menu bar. To configure internet access, insert an ethernet network cable into the back of the monitor and plug the other end into your internet router. The network settings should then automatically be configured on the monitor. If the connection is successful, the network monitor on the screen will display green. If the icon is yellow, then the device is connected to your local network but can't get to the internet. This means you'll be able to use it in your internal network but you won't be able to access it remotely. You can download an app for iOS and Android so that you can see what's happening remotely. To do this, download the My Cam View app from your App Store or Google Play Store. When you open up the app, tap Add a Device and scan the QR code on the back of the monitor. You will now be able to connect into the system to monitor what's going on remotely. 
This system will happily run for months at a time, but it's a really good idea to regularly check to make sure that the system is recording properly. What you don't want to happen is leave it for two months and find that the system's got a faulty SD card or something. Set up a schedule in your diary and check the system on a weekly basis just to make sure everything's working okay. If you need any further support with your system, please don't hesitate to give our tech team a call or drop us an email. The details are in the descriptions box below. For more information on this product and a link to the manual, please see our website at spycameracctv.com. Thanks for watching.